guys, what's up? Kristen here. I'm so excited to be here with you today to draw this Instac Mini 10. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and give us a big thumbs up. And definitely leave a comment uh, of what you want to see next. We would love to start taking suggestions and drawing what you guys want to see. So I'm going to go ahead and use a Sharpie just so it's easier for you guys to see. But why don't you guys grab a pencil and an eraser? and obviously a piece of paper. The first shape we're gonna draw on is the top of our camera. So as you can see, there's less of a curve and more of a curve. <laughs> Try and follow along the best you can. Great job. Now we're gonna bring down the side of the camera. Oh, got a little fuzzy there. <laughs> Don't forget to round out our corners. This isn't a perfect square. All right, and now we're gonna connect it all together. But once you bring down this side, we're gonna add on an extra little loop or a U shape and now connect it. Sorry, I didn't mention that before. I just wanted to show you quickly how to draw on the handle of the camera. This is the part that comes forward that you hold on to. Looking good. Now we're gonna start adding on some circles and they're gonna progressively get smaller and smaller. So you might wanna walk around the house and try and find a few different sizes just to help you out with this step. Or you can freehand it, like I am. It's not gonna be perfect, but that's okay. Now we're gonna go and add on the shutter. It actually, it's kind of funny. It looks like the shape of an eye. Do you guys see that? Or an almond or a football? You guys got these next few steps. They're pretty easy. Okay, so next up, we are gonna draw an invisible line up to the middle of the camera, just so that our next shape is directly center. Now just edge the left side. That'll just give it a little dimension. Okay, time for the flash. So we're gonna make almost the same exact shape as the viewfinder, just a bit bigger. You could round it out a little bit more if you wanted as well. Now we'll just finish it up with a few little details. Let me zoom in. Let's go ahead and start drawing on the viewfinder. This is what we look through when we're taking our pictures. We want this to look like it's a tunnel because, well, we're looking through it, right? So let's draw another shape on the inside and connect all the corners. Do you see how that works? It looks 3D. Okay, let's go ahead and add on the strap. I feel like this particular type of camera is very known for that, having its strap so you don't drop it. I'm gonna go ahead now and draw on the Polaroid. I always think that's so cool how they pop out the top. Do you guys know how Polaroids work? Well, let me tell you. You know how the classic shape of a Polaroid, it has the borders around it, but the bottom one is larger. Well, the bottom border of a Polaroid doesn't just give it its iconic shape. It also contains pouches of chemicals. When the photo is ejected from the camera, it is squeezed between two rollers, which burst the bag and smear the chemicals onto the photo, developing it. I know that might sound a little confusing, but Here's a little graphic. The one, two, and three have different colors in them. This is a little bit embarrassing, but uh, I wrote Instac instead of Instax with an X on the end. So don't make that mistake. Make it an X. 
Narke. Okay, now it's time to decorate everything. On my photo, I'm gonna do a smiling flower. I think it'll look really cute. Sticker time. You guys can follow along with me or make up your own stickers, totally up to you. But I'm gonna speed it up even faster from here. I'm gonna turn this button into a sunshine. And now add a cherry. How about a lightning bolt and I don't know what that is. Maybe we'll turn it into a rainbow. A hot chili, it is flaming hot. And some, yeah, little decorations. Ooh, lollipops, love lollipops. XO. Now I'll do a real rainbow and just fill it in with just little designs now. Okay, last finishing touches. We're just gonna add on the details of the camera. I wrote Instax correctly here. <laughs> Notice the X. And now let's color it. Ready, three, two, one. Oh, I love it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments how you like it and definitely send me pictures of yours. You can email them to me or you can just tag me on Instagram. I would really love to see your work. But anyway, I hope you had so much fun hanging out with me. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye.